Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, I'm going to discuss a new rumor that's brewing about Six Flags Magic Mountain. That's right. Six Flags Magic Mountain, of course, just opened their 19th roller coaster, West Coast Racers, and is well under construction on their 20th roller coaster, Wonder Woman Flight of Courage, that is under construction now and is going to open next summer 2022. After two coasters in two years, basically, 2023 will most likely be a little break. Maybe something for Hurricane Harper, as um, some slides there are being closed for maybe some, some demo but um, or refurbishment. But the real rumor is 2024. That's right. Just three years from now, Six Flags didn't have their 20th coaster again. What do I mean by that? Well, the rumor is brewing that Six Flags Magic Mountain is looking to make their largest investment since Tot Sioux, which was like over a decade ago, and it's a very expensive coaster, Tatsu. And they're looking to make that massive investment in 2024. Very, very interesting. Um, because they also mentioned in this rumor that something will be going away. That's right, a major coaster most likely will be going away. Obviously, um, there's a couple options of which can be going away. Um, the most obvious one would be Viper, right? Viper is on a massive, massive plot of land. The largest investment since Tatsu. Tatsu is a massive coaster. Um, so this new coaster, if these rumors are true, will be a massive coaster. And if they get rid of Viper, it's like killing two birds with one stone because it's not a very popular ride. It's very rough. Um, it's the last of its kinds, built by Aero Development, which is now defunct, uh, bankrupt, and um, was only one of what, like seven, or five to seven, seven loopers, the Aero Seven Loopers built. It's the only one standing. So, of course, uh, Six Flags is eh, kind of cheap, right? So, they don't want to spend too much money. Um, should it break down or they need a part for it, uh, it's expensive parts because they have to make a custom part for, um, for the, for the, you know, for the, for the ride. Say a, a, a loop needs to be replaced and I made mean, to make a custom loop for Viper and that's expensive, especially when the ride gets really not really any people riding it. Every time I go by it, it's an empty wait. Sometimes I wonder if it's, wonder if it's even open because there's no one in line. I figure, yeah, it is open. I'm uh, sorry, it's not running, but it is open. And uh, there's just no one in line. Again, very rough. And another telling thing um, that tells me that if anything were to get replaced, the next thing to get replaced in part would be um, Viper is because paint jobs. Right now, Tatsu is getting a, a cool new paint job. Um, well, kind of questionable, but it's, it's cool. I like the green so far. I'll be there next week, most likely, to check it out with the Wonder Woman construction update. But Tatsu is getting a green and orange. Well, it's supposed to be green and red, but it's going to be green and red or green and orange. According to John from Theme Park ERT, he says it's going to be green and orange now, not green and red. But, so we'll have to see when they paint the track what it, what it is. But it's getting a paint job. It's been six hours spending money on it. It was faded. If you look at my earlier Six Flags videos, I didn't even know the Tatsu was getting a paint job, but I was like, man, the two rides, uh, two of the rides I think need the paint job the most are Viper and Tatsu. And both Tatsu's getting a paint job, but Viper is in worse condition, in my opinion. Viper it was actually way worse. Tatsu looked great compared to Viper's paint job. Viper's supposed to be that vi uh, red, uh, vibrant red color. If you play Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and click on the, if look at the playlist Six Flags, uh, Magic Mountain Park map, you'll see what Viper is supposed to be, a bright red, like cherry red coaster. This thing's almost like pink. It almost looks like the Canyon Blaster out in Adventure Dome, which is a pink track. Adventure Dome in Las Vegas, by the way. Um, indoor theme park uh, attached to Circus Circus. So yeah, the it's not getting any love. Tatsu's getting its paint shop first. It's really rough. It doesn't get nearly met, as many people as it should for a massive coaster. And it's on a sizable, self-contained plot of land. Yeah, that could definitely be the coaster and probably will be the coaster. Um, 
and gets demolished for this brand new 2024 edition. Also, think about the touch-ups, right? Six Flags is kind of refurbishing areas of the park when they put new coaster. West Coast Racers made the new underground area that took that left left-hand corner of the park. DC Universe is getting a nice refurbishment now. Um, like I said, the Drop of Doom and Twisted Colossus Screen Pump District in recent years got that air refurbishment. Um, so it's more towards the back of the park, but searching from kind of Twisted Colossus to West Coast Racers. Um, oops, sorry. West Coast Racers. All those uh, parts of the park in recent years have gotten nice refurbs. But the other parts of the park, and even beforehand, the New Revolution, Revolution got a nice Air Force repaint and VR. So that area in full throttle, that area got some touch-ups like 2013 and up. Now, almost every part of the park has gotten a touch-up except the area around X2. Now, X2 itself got X, X, X got a touch-up from X to X2 and we got a repaint, beautiful repaint, new trains, and everything. But the surrounding area didn't get a touch-up. Six Flags wasn't really doing that around then. So that whole desert themed area could be the recipient of a beautiful enhancement should viper get replaced with a new coaster and yeah again that's one of the uh, like the last or one of the last parts of the park six Flags hasn't done a whole refresh yet too so that would be quite nice and um i think it's like a very good likelihood that that can happen now, if you're, let's speculate on what could replace it, Viper, if it were to leave. Obviously, it's a massive plot of land. A lot of people, especially with the Knots rumor of a Knots giga coming, Six, six Facts can one-up them, right? Six Facts can get, uh, be the record, uh, get that record breaker and put their own giga in there. That would be pretty awesome. I think Six Facts, I mean, Six Facts, because I was just thinking about this, the West Coast doesn't really have a Giga Coaster, right? They have, and they don't have many coasters over 300 feet at all. They have Superman, right? Superman is 400, 400 feet. And that's the only one I can think of. That's certainly the tallest of Six Flags, but I don't think there's a, I mean, they have a Hyper Coaster, which is Goliath, but I don't think there's like a Giga Coaster in the West Coast. And correct me if I'm wrong, but... It's certainly not in Southern California, because uh, Six Flags has all the coasters, all the biggest coasters here in Southern California, and knots, but they don't have any gig coasters there in Northern California. I can't, don't think so as well. So, uh, and certainly the, mm, there's there's very few, but there's a couple theme parks in Washington and Oregon, but certainly nothing of the caliber here that's in California. So, a gig coaster was if knots does. Put that in in 2023 would be pretty remarkable. It'd be a statement, skyline altering thing. So Six Flags, I think, would want to one up that, or they can maybe split the area and put multiple, maybe two new coasters in. Maybe like a the a B and M dive coaster, right? Put in the uh, the largest B and M dive coaster in the West Coast, or maybe the world's the biggest, it's a big part of land that can do that. Um, and put something else, maybe a couple of flat rides. I don't know, but what would you want in Viper's massive plot of land in that corner in the desert? It would also be like desert themed because it's, you know, X2 is themed to extreme sports and the whole area is like themed to, the, kind of looks like a San Antonio, Texas type desert area. Yeah. Well, what, what, what type of coaster would you want to replace Viper if something does replace Viper? And um, what would you want it to be themed to? And what type of cool elements would you want it to have? And it's most likely will be a record breaker. So what records would you like it to break? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of this theory and idea and this rumor in general. Uh, and let me know which, and ask you another question, completely set aside from this. What ride would you want to get rid of at Six Flags? It could be a coaster, it could be a flat ride, it could be a water ride. What ride would you want to get uh, rid of next at Six Flags? And what would you want to add next at Six Flags Magic Mountain after Wonder Woman Flight of Courage? Would you want another coaster at all? Would you want some flat rides and some family rides? And maybe or just some refreshes of different things in the park instead? 
Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, press that thumbs up button, subscribe for more theme park updates, and as always, have a fantastic day.